Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery FLS Manual Skills Exam, Tips and Tricks. We have no financial disclosures. The Fundamentals of Laparoscopic Surgery FLS provides training and education for residents, fellows, and physicians in the knowledge and surgical skills in laparoscopic surgery. The FLS Manual Skills Test assesses technical performance in basic laparoscopy. ob residents graduating after May 31, 2020 are required to pass this exam in order to achieve board certification. In this video, we present our tips and tricks for the five technical tasks of the FLS Manual Skills Exam. Task 1, Peg Transfer. We recommend using a side grasp to pick up each object and an overhand grasp to receive and place the object onto the peg. We recommend passing the object directly over the target peg. We call this the alley-oop method. The receiving hand then needs to only dunk the object over the peg and then moves to the adjacent peg. This enables the examinee to focus on the transferring hand, which promotes the simultaneous use of both hands and maximizes efficiency. After the first set of transfers, we rotate the Maryland graspers 180 degrees and repeat the process. Task 2, Precision Cutting. Note, in this video, we use the FLS training gauze, which contains two circles. The actual exam utilizes only one circle. We recommend directly cutting on the black lines when using the practice gauze to simulate real testing conditions. We recommend approaching the circle from a five o'clock position. In order to cut a continuous edge, Partially close the blades of the scissors and maintain both blades along the incision. Closing the blades causes the displacement of the scissors and results in jagged edges. The grasping hand plays an important role in maintaining proper tension in order to effectively cut. Also, use the grasping hand to manipulate the gauze and achieve ideal cutting angles. After cutting from 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock in a clockwise direction, return to the 5 o'clock position and complete the dissection in the opposite direction. We recommend this technique because there is no need to transfer the scissors to the opposite hand during the task. Task 3, Ligation Loop. We recommend using the scissors at the beginning of the task to help place the loop and decrease the time required to transfer instruments. We do not recommend using the ratcheting grasper. Letting go of it to cinch the knot results in unpredictable manipulation of the appendage. Task 4, Suturing with Extracorporeal Knot Tying. Before introducing the needle, grasp it while setting it down on a flat surface. This allows for the predictable orientation of the needle once introduced into the field. Here, we demonstrate pulling on the suture to adjust the needle orientation. Next, we pinch the top of the incision to approximate the markings. This makes it easier to go through both targets in one motion. We tie three square knots in a row as shown. This allows the examinee to rapidly push down the knots in succession.
Task 5. Suturing with intracorporeal knot tying. After placing the needle through the incision, pull the suture tail to approximately 2 cm in length and orient the suture in a C shape. The right hand grasps the needle end of the suture 1 to 2 cm from the needle. When securing the knot, maintain the length of the suture tail. Transfer the needle end of the suture and position the suture in a D shape. Repeat this process once more with the suture in a C shape. We hope you enjoyed this video and we wish you a successful testing experience.